Hi, welcome to Homeschool Together, and today we'll be talking about the Mercy Watson series, written by Katie Camillo and illustrated by Chris Van Dusen. This is a pretty funny series. This is about Mercy the pig, who lives with Mr. and Mrs. Watson on Dekawu Drive, and their next door neighbors, uh, two sisters, two elderly sisters, Eugenia Lincoln and Baby Lincoln. Uh, Eugenia hates this awful uh, pig, Mercy, and Baby thinks she's pretty fun. Uh, Mercy loves to get into trouble, all kinds of hijinks. She's always in pursuit of fun, uh, chaos, and toast with a great deal of butter. A little bit, great deal of butter. So uh, these are pretty fun books and we wanted to talk about them with you because they're recommended in the Torchlight Kindergarten Curriculum. Uh, the All six books of the series are recommended and so we wanted to go over these with you. So out of five, our style rating is four, uh, is five for this, excuse me, because I mean look at these illustrations, these are amazing. Um, the entire book is in color, there are illustrations on every page and they're all in this cool retro style. Um, this is just, it's a high quality, high quality books. Every one of them looks like this. Nice large font, really short chapters. You can read through one of these in 20 minutes, 15 minutes. They're pretty fast. Um, so you can read through them nice and quick. Uh, our daughter absolutely loved these illustrations. She was so engaged by them. I think the style is wonderful. Um, we, there's also another book that we did. I, I wanna say it's, um, Oh, it's a it's a book. If I built a car, I want to say that Chris Van Dusen did as well. I'll put a link in the show notes for that because you definitely have to check that out if you like this kind of retro art. Uh, he did this awesome uh, children's book that we read, and we highly recommend that one. So uh, for style, definitely five points. This is great. Uh, child uh, child rating is also five. Our daughter absolutely loved this series. I think we read all six of them in about two days because she could not wait. We did not space them out week over week as was planned um, because they're short reads and they were so delightful. They had her laughing. I was laughing. Um, they were just great. So speaking of which, parent rating, I'm going to say also five. I loved reading these books. We've read them three times I want to say now and I never get tired of reading about Mercy and her hijinks. She's always up to something. It's always funny. I do these crazy voices for all of the different characters because Mercy herself does not speak um, but the Watsons they have their voices and they're just sweet. I'm not going to go with dim-witted. They're just they're just sweet uh, caring people that just think the best. They're very positive and they think the best of everyone. And then you have Eugenia Lincoln who thinks the worst of everyone and Baby who is just a really kind-hearted woman. Um, and then there's some kids that come into play and there's other characters. There's a couple of police officers and firefighters that are pretty funny and I made up voices for all of them and I had a really fun time making up those voices and my daughter absolutely loved it. So if you're going to read this you, you got to get into the voices, come up with a really good Eugenia Lincoln voice. Y you need one. Um, we ended up even getting the prequels and reading those, and I'll link those down in the show notes too, because that's how much our daughter loved the series. The prequels are black and white, so that's not quite as much fun, but they were still pretty fun stories. Um, so we loved it. I loved it. She loved it. From an enrichment standpoint, though, I have to give this a one. This was just really fun. But this is fluffy. I mean, there's nothing, there's no uh, strong educational content. Um, maybe some of the moral of the story is don't be so uptight, <laughs> you know, but I think ultimately this is just a fun book for kinder, first grade, any early elementary I think would really enjoy these books. Um, but I don't think that there's anything super deep in any of them. Um, there's one where Mercy uh, ends up driving a car by accident. It's pretty funny. There's one where she dresses up for Halloween. There's one where she stops a robbery in progress. They're all just kind of different madcap adventures. Uh, they're all really fun, but I don't think that there's a lot of deep learning going on here. Uh, as far as lifespan and whether you should purchase this or get it from the library, we're going to give that a three. Uh, I think, you know, the purchase price are $6 a piece. You can get the whole set of six for 22, which I think is a pretty good deal. Um, on these, we've reread them a bunch of times. Uh, I think the problem with this, you can definitely get this from your library. The problem we had was that these were so popular, they were hard to get at our library. So we had to wait. If you, if you have that problem and your library is constantly, you know, on hold for these books or your library doesn't have these books, we'd highly recommend that you buy them because 
either way, you don't want to miss these books. These are really cute. We really enjoyed them. Uh, our daughter absolutely loved them. And if you're going to purchase them, we have a link down in the show notes and we appreciate your support of our channel. So that's it. Mercy Watson. This is the first one, Mercy Watson to the rescue after she uh, ends up causing chaos as always. Uh, we highly recommend that you check them out because we really enjoyed them. And thanks for watching Homeschool Together.